So Shannon, have I told you lately how awesome it is to be back here? Tell me. It's so cool that we can talk about innovation after all the work we've done together and do it right here at Martin Luther King Jr. Family Services. So let's get into it. What do you think? Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> Shannon, the, the interesting conversation we've had a couple of times that I wanted to bring and, and shine a little bit of a light on is uh, normally when you think about this, this the subject, these, these conversations trying to have with local leaders are, is, is innovation. So normally when you think about innovation from a nonprofit perspective, you think about delivery to, to services, you know, mm -hmm. to the, the, the client or the person that's, that's the beneficiary of this nonprofit's efforts, mission, values, right? We've had this conversation about another innovative way to look or another way to look at innovation within the world of nonprofits. And what is it? Data. The Tell magic of data. Yeah. So I think it's really important that decisions are based on facts <laughs> and the facts come from constantly creating um, ways to receive, analyze, and be informed by data, right? So those services are really important. It's the heartbeat, sure, right? Um, the where mission, the, and where the emphasis should be, right? A hundred percent. Not bean counters or whatever, but right. Okay. But but it's but we have to be informed by, you know, how successful, how the impact is rippling, right. you know, in the services or programs that we're providing, you know, um, and what our constituents may want more of, you know, what's going to keep them coming back. And so data helps to tell that story. So how do you gather this data? What, what were we talking about with data? Are, you know, people filling out forms or what's the, the new, you know, what's the innovative way we're gathering data as a, as a nonprofit on the move mm -hmm. and, and, uh, you know, using this data? Yeah, so I think I think you have to get creative, right? So at Martin Luther King Jr. Family Services right now, we're in the process of building what, what I'm calling a data ecosystem. And so there's got to be multiple points of entry, if you will, into that ecosystem to begin to tell us the story, right? Um, and yeah, some of it is filling in forms, you know, some of it is anecdotal, like having a conversation. Let's say, for example, some a parents picking their kid up from after school program. We want to know, like, how's the process? So testimonially, you can mm -hmm. get it into this into this ecosystem. So absolutely. So, yeah. And so okay. it's it's really like we've got to get to your point innovative around like how we're engaging with our constituents around them telling us their story. And you've had some background with this though. You've been working with data in, in the nonprofit world for, for a while. I, yeah, absolutely. I in conversation. absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so I think that surveys, right? Like these conversations, um, what, what I've done in other nonprofits and what we will be doing here at, at MLK Family Services is really creating, collecting the data, right? Taking an opportunity to, to analyze that and doing what I call a step back, right? And so like having that step back opportunity at the end of a, let's say fiscal year or program year to really say, all right, like what do we do well, right? What are we, do, what, where are there areas for opportunity? And like, where can we get more creative? How can we expand even the dream? But it's not from our heads. It's literally from what our constituents have told us. So that's why the collection and then the analyzing, right, bec becomes like so imperative to that process. It's been a while since I ran a social venture, but I found that the time that my ability to not only go in and tell a good story, but to back it up with numbers or other information that supported that story was important to funders. Mm. Um, so like I said, it's been a while. Is that important? Is it critical 100%. in terms of you having that dialogue with funders about performance data or, or you know, how that it's, it, it's analyzed? Yeah, 100%, right? Somebody, a funder is investing in our work through the programs that we do. They're not just looking at like throw away, like go out and do good. I, you no, know? they want to know yeah. like we, in, in your grant application, you said that this is what you're going to do. Did you do it? And to the tune of what impact? What impacts. Right? And so we can't know that until we say like a program might, 
it, it might be on surface just an after school program, but there's multiple layers in that after school program. There's a literacy component. There's you know help with homework. Does that and what does that ripple into? Right? Like does that does that kid feel more confident in classes because of our after school program? Is there you know the rate of homework you know being turned in and you know, all the things. Those are, that's why it's really important that like when you're creating those surveys or you're engaging with constituents around questions that we get to the core of what we really want to know. And so we're asking those key questions so that that data set is coming in and it's expanding what we even thought would be, you know, you know a really powerful program to like, they get to grow it. It's really grown right. by the people. So the interesting thing is it's not just the vision. It's not the strategic plan, which sometimes can involve data, but it's all, all this information that you're gathering that begins to empower perhaps those other two things and to be being more formative and actually, you know, a roadmap for success. Yeah, 100 percent. And I do think we're about to gear up to do a strategic planning process. And it's really important. Yes, I want to hear from folks that have benefited, um, that partner with us. Right. But I also want to figure out who's not coming to MLK and why, you know, what, what's that story about? And that's going to be critically important for me to be able to collect that data. Like what are the barriers to, you know, to entry, so to speak, to programs or what have you. And so the story of like what we're doing, so like touting it's our important. success yeah, is still super important. important. Yeah. And to tell us, like, oh, here's where we can actually, like, improve, improve expand. Um, and here's what that story is a reality. In fact, we've got these kind of numbers, these kind of obstacles to overcome and go in the future. That's kind of amazing. What's this dashboard look like? Is Ooh, it, is it so built I'm yet? really excited yeah. about yeah, the I know, dashboard. I, know excited, yeah. I think there's there's both like an internal use for our yeah. dashboard. So like, you know, when I talked about the the like strategic planning or yeah. like the step backs yeah. where it's each program, um, it's really important for us to be able to track, you know, yeah. those things. But I also think that it's important that our community will be public, right? It, it, that we have a frontward facing um, dashboard as well. So, and so that, this will be part of like, the website, let's say. Right on the website, funders or prospective donors or prospective funders, right? They like could go and say like, oh, they're really doing what they say that they're going to do and they're really reaching. Or I didn't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, or it could yeah. be a total education. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Me I just too. think that it's an opportunity to tell our story in like um, really concrete ways. Me too. And I, I think it's really different and congratulations. And I look forward to hearing more. Thank you.